going down to the South Atlantic, we, it, there's not many comprehensive reports at all of icebergs, actual icebergs down there. You basically knew when the icebergs season was, or at least where they could be. But they could be a mile away, or they could be a thousand miles away. They were somewhere down there. When we left Ascension, the only way of detecting them in the dark with, uh, and in clear weather was, was radar. And icebergs don't make great targets on the radar, but they do make a target usually, unless they're very small. <coughs> so the Navy insisted that we switch the radar off after we left Ascension Island. And this was, was to stop our ship being detected by those who had equipment which could pick up radar signals. And we started zigzagging. And I can recall that one night, <coughs> possibly two nights after we left Ascension, that the officer of the watch, went, uh, the 12 to 4 guy, went up at uh, midnight. And there was always a naval person on the bridge as well, a naval officer, Royal Naval Officer. And uh, his name was Bob Haywood. And Bob went up to the bridge and he had a lovely northern accent. He, uh, he went up on the bridge and it's thick fog. There's no radars on. Well, this, to a Cunard officer, was a non-starter. And I won't use the expletives that he said, but basically it was, we're not going anywhere without radar. And he went and switched them on. And it was extremely fortuitous that he did, because once the radars had been switched on, they saw radars, saw icebergs on the radar, behind them, to the side, and in front. <coughs> and so they had to zigzag even more to miss them. I don't mean they were, you know, 100 yards apart, maybe a mile or so apart, but they probably would have hit one sooner or later. And when I got up in the morning, you could see the tops of the icebergs in the distance, you know, maybe three miles away, two miles away. They were still there. And when we went through that ice field and um, we, we cleared it, but we did keep the radars on from then onwards because it was far too dangerous. The chances of being hit by a Argentine missile were minimal compared to actually hitting an iceberg. And very few people ever knew about that. Mm, very interesting. 